everybody what up how's my lighting i don't think i ever liked that light anyways oh welcome everyone welcome everyone that's joining me today okay today we're doing an important video here about okay some of you guys started saying you're highly ranked in the spirit world okay and you need to know this you need to tap into this energy some of you guys are highly favored here um so yeah let's get into this message don't forget to like share and subscribe let me just pull up the volume all right welcome everyone i hope everybody's doing excellent aloha let me get comfortable here i literally just rushed i got this download right now and i was like okay spirit i literally was doing private reading so if anybody has booked a private reading with me and i haven't sent yours um just be patient okay welcome everyone i am a little overwhelmed with some private readings but if you would like to book one the information is down below okay so let's see who you are, what's going on. We have 20 peop uh, 27, 30 people in the house, okay? If this message is going to resonate with you, don't forget to like, okay, guys? Show love, show support. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Miss Bella, Lauren, okay? Tiffany, everybody else, thank you. There we go, that's better. Welcome, everyone. Don't forget to like this video. Show some love. I know somebody out there is going to write a message and say, you're asking for a like and you haven't even started the message. It happens to me all the time. I don't give a fuck. This is my channel. I love that this is just my business. You understand? This is under my control. So anyways, let's see. Let's see what's up, guys. All right. This is a very powerful message. Um, it may or may not resonate with everyone. So peace, love, and light to you and everybody else. So somebody here could be a Leo, a Libra, Gemini. Okay, I'm getting like you have a spiritual crown. You're, you're crowned, um, highly favored in the universe. Okay, so first of all, before I start this message. Oh, yeah, Lil Mama. I remember you, Lil Mama. That's crazy. Here you are. You paid $10 for a one card poll. I was yelling your names. I remember everybody. Okay. So photographic memory over here. Literally. Anyways, guys, I really, first of all, want to thank everybody who has donated to my channel, book personal readings and everything. Okay. I want to show you today. Um, I'm using this deck. Okay. Thanks to your donation. I was able to get a brand new deck. All right. I bought this one. I bought, I'm excited. I bought this one. Okay, synchronicity. So something about synchronicities. Okay, maybe you were attracted to this video because you saw some sort of synchronicity. Anyways, I bought those two tarots as well as um whatever is keeping my phone holding on here. Because you guys always know I have it on my desk. I kind of bought a phone stand here. So guys, thank you so much for your donations. Clearly, you see how you've contributed to this community. Okay, I'm excited, especially for this message, because literally these cards are perfect for this message. But anyways, enough talking, and let's just get into it. So I've never seen this oracle, guys, all right? I've never seen this oracle card. It's called a synchronicity oracle. It's extremely amazing. Like, I can't even tell you how amazing it is. So something about synchronicities. Okay, I'm going to post this. This is how they look. They come in like... um. In like a, a hexagon shape if you guys could see they're not the usual like square you know um things so that's cool something about shapes might be significant for you guys but also look how it looks it just has a whole bunch of different pictures that i can tap into maybe you've seen some of this yeah sacred geometry maybe you've seen some of the synchronicities past present or future okay so let's get into it okay spirit is guiding me to start with a magical all right, I haven't opened this deck. This is called the Magical Unicorn. Guys, I'm so excited. Really, thank you for your donations, okay? Um, I love buying tarot decks. That's like literally an addiction. <laughs> I am going to do a P.O. box, okay? I'm going to open one so you guys can send me 
oracle cards through there if um you can't send in any money donation but yeah let's get into the tea yeah so we know you're highly ranked right then uh the color is black blue or white may be significant to you or purple welcome everyone thank you for liking this video to the 46 people who are here truly i'm grateful to have you guys okay so ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light what is this collective message here today about this powerful highly ranked individual here in the spirit? whoa dang whoa okay so i just heard Okay, you guys are cosmic beings, okay? You're a cosmic being. Thank you, Tyrone. Thank you, Tyrone Bates Libra, for your donation, okay? I am going to write your book here. Guys, if you're new to my channel, this is my Maji Bible. This is where I write your names for those to donate, okay? Um, for those who donate to my channel willingly, obviously, I always write your name and I pray for you. I send you love, light, and miracles, okay? So thank you, Tyrone, for contributing to this community. Very grateful. Okay, I got your name down, Tyrone. All right. Welcome, everyone who just joined this live. So, yeah, I'm getting something like you're very cosmic. All right. You're just very magical. Maybe this is why today I felt drawn to picking up unicorns. You might relate with unicorns. This is a, for feminines and for masculine. Okay. So, all signs. If anybody's asking, well, is there a sign that's specific? Okay. I'll pull some cards at the end. But really, this is just an intuitive message. If you felt called to this, then yes. And how can you contribute to this channel? You can contribute by liking this video, by donating, whether it's through Cash App, PayPal, or um, the YouTube Super Chat, okay, guys? Um, like I said, I would also be opening a P.O. Box, so you can send me your goodies, anything you would like, okay? Anything at all that is of love and light, obviously. Okay, so the first card out, it says, be a beacon, be an inspiration, light the way for others, so that's why you're highly ranked in the spirit, okay, guys? You guys are extremely powerful, divine beings here. You're supposed to be a beacon of light. So some of you guys could be Virgos here or have that in your chart. I'm getting like whatever hardships you went through, you were meant to lead and be the beacon of light for others, okay? You're supposed to inspire. Some of you guys are already doing this. You're inspiring people. You're very connected to the divine. If you notice this card, there are the, there's the people, right? The earth people. But here you are. There's a special place for you is what I'm getting. There's a special place for you in heaven. Chocolate sunshine. Thank you for your donation, love. Many love and light to you. Okay, chocolate sunshine. I got your name down, love. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're, you're a beacon of light. And it's because of the power that you hold in the spirit realm. It's like you're very magical. You could be seeing a lot of rainbows, okay? Um, you are an inspiration and you are meant to light the way for others. Somebody could literally be in a wheelchair here and watching this. I'm getting somebody here might be in a wheelchair. Or somebody in your family is and you're meant to heal this person too. Be a beacon of light to this individual. To those who have disabilities or anyway, okay? You're a light worker. You're a beacon of light. Carl. Champion D, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. I will also be praying for you, love, okay? So yeah, the number 36 might be significant to you. Many blessings to you. And then it says 38, unicorn portal. Focus your light. Listen to a message. You guys get spiritual downloads, spiritual messages here from spirit, okay? This is what happens to you guys. You get spiritual downloads and spiritual messages here. You are a very unique, very authentic. Since there's two unicorns here, you might have a divine counterpart for some of you, okay, that you're meant to um, collaborate with. You're in a divine union, okay? You have to listen to the messages and focus on your light at this time, my beautiful light workers. You're being called to be a beacon of light. You're being called to step and focus on the light, on the love. And kind of, that's the message that you're meant to give, okay? Thank you, Tiffany, Tiffany, for your donation as well. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it, okay? I got your name down, honey. Now, listen, there's a portal. You are able to access this portal and have direct communication with the divine. I hate that thing. Why is it projecting, right? I don't know why that's kind of doing that i want you to be able to see the cards but it's like you're it's reflecting i don't know why but anyways guys 
focus on the message more. I'm sorry if you can see the cards clear. I'm always recording on my phone. Um, if those of you guys want to donate to help buy a camera, that's something that I want for this month of November. My goal is to be able to purchase a very good fucking camera so I don't have to look silly on here. But I do want to let you know, I started my YouTube with this exact phone that is still here. And I have 15K subscribers. So anything is possible, okay? You're being, you have to be a beacon of light. So don't let anything delay you or stop you. I felt like, I felt called to ch uh, um, share that with you, okay? But yes, if you would like to donate later on to my PayPal Cash App so I could buy that and you feel called to that later on, remember this month, this is my goal. But yeah, it says focus your light. You, you're, you're, you're okay. You're getting a lot of messages. Yes. There's a portal opening right now. We're going to get more confirmation, but I'm getting so many downloads. Okay. You are a diamond in the rough is what I'm getting here. Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah. You're a cosmic diamond. Wow. You're literally a cosmic diamond. Like what? I never even heard of that term till today. So for some of you, you've never maybe heard of the term light worker and it's your first time. Okay. Learning about yourself. That's cool too. Some of you guys, you've been known. This is your confirmation. It says spread hope and joy. Illuminate the world. You are a beacon of light. You are a cosmic diamond. Okay. Meant to shine light into the universe, into the world. You could, you, some of you guys are born to be in the public eye because you have so much light to, to, give to the universe okay you're a beacon of light so you're supposed to illuminate the world okay spread that love spread that joy okay and it says cosmic emerald create perfect health access divine abundance yeah you guys are highly ranked and can access divine abundance here what open to abundance something about abundance dude literally the color green may mean something to you but the color green always gives me archangel Raphael. So some of you guys may work with Archangel Raphael here, whether you know this or not. Welcome everyone who has just came to this reading. It says open, open to abundance. Believe you deserve abundance, prosperity, and plenty, okay? Yes, you're highly ranked in the spirit. In the spirit world, you guys are extremely wealthy. I'm seeing two blue birds here. You could be seeing blue jays, okay? This gives me air energy. You could be an air sign watching. Again, it's just you're you're literally walking miracles. What I'm getting here, you're a walking miracle. Your prosperity is all around you. You are the cosmic diamond, and what diamonds are pretty expensive, right? Pretty abundant as well. Thank you so much, Shan Shante Hatiko. Okay, thank you for your donation, love. And I do apologize if I mispronounced your name. Shanti, Shanti or Shante, thank you so much for your donation. I will be praying for you as well. I got your name down in my book, my magical book, okay? Listen, you are able, you are guys are healing, healers here. You have access to divine abundance. This doesn't just mean material world wealth. You have access to divine abundance, meaning spiritual gifts like no other is what I'm getting here. You're literally so spiritually gifted you are in abundance. You're a walking miracle. And I'm also, this gives me like a portal, okay? So I feel like you have some sort of intense dreams. You have a very open crown chakra. Some of you guys may have long hair like me for my feminines watching or my males, whatever. Okay, Earth Angel Tarot, thank you for your love and donation as well. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are Earth Angels here, okay? You're highly ranked, and this is why you're so prosperous. Oh, fuck, if I could speak prosperous. Okay, so some of you guys may have trouble communicating with your throat chakra right now, because that's kind of happening with me right now. So you need to open up, speak your truth, okay? Communicate. You guys have that ability here. I'm also getting you have healing abilities, all right? With this whole cosmic abundance that you have, you know, you're able to create perfect health in other people's lives, whether it's mental health, physical health. I don't know. You could be a life coach. You could be an actual coach that's like showing, um, helping people with their diets. Jeremy, Jeremy Charles, thank you for your donation. Many blessings and love to you. Okay. Thank you for donating to the channel. I have your name down as well. So like I said, it's you're very free spirited is what I'm getting here. You're very free spirited. No matter what happens to you, 
you always stay in that frequency of light, no matter if there's always been darkness around you. People can sense that you're very abundant, okay? That you're very royal. Very royal is what I'm getting here. Obviously, if you're highly ranked, right? It's like your own light illuminates the world. Even if you guys are not doing anything right now, just by you being alive and present in this universe, okay? You are illuminating the world. And I feel like there's a portal of abundance that's opening right now. Yeah, you're aligning with prosperity and abundance. Oneness, yeah, look. You guys are so connected with the divine. You're connected to that oneness, right? Some of you guys have Lemurian um, light here. Let's make sure we get 120 likes, guys. Thank you for your support. The freedom of truth. Communicate honestly. Be who you truly are. That's why my throat was kind of feeling blocked, okay? You guys are not truly being yourself, some of you guys, okay? Don't take it personal. Some of you guys are not being truly authentic with who you are. You're dimming your freaking light, knowing how cosmic you are, how highly ranked and protected you are. You shy away because, you know, it's, it's the empath in you. It's the beacon of light in you that it's like, yes, we're all the same. One is not better than other. But there are such things as, as people having mastered something from a past life. And since you're such an old soul, you have mastered things where you're at a point where you can teach. Okay, this doesn't make you better. It just makes you smarter. And because of that, you have the wisdom to share. And so it does, in a way, make you greater in that way. Again, the rainbows. Okay, the freedom of truth. Wow, guys. Be who you truly are. A lot of you guys here are, like I said, light workers. Okay, look, you're meant to bring healing to the community, to the world, to speak. Speak the truth that you know. What are your beliefs? You hear the siren? That's confirmation. Okay? But look at all these people that you've been healing. Your own family, your own community, your own friends. If some of you guys are not doing this, you're meant to do this. You're being called. Look. You hold the light in your hand. You're, you're, you're meant to illuminate people. You're the beacon of light. And your truth will set a lot of people free is what I'm getting. When you speak your truth, you will set a lot of people free. Because people will not... Yeah, look, divine potential. Look, guys, you have a contract with God. You have a contract with spirit here. You, there's a divine plan being orchestrated here. It says divine potential. You have the divine potential to fulfill your destiny and be all you can be. Wow. Some of you guys could be cancer here watching because I'm seeing the moon. Wow. This is like a powerful freaking reading. All right. Like, like those who are highly ranked by God in the universe are going to understand this type of reading. If you're not, then it's kind of like it doesn't matter. Maybe you're not there yet. You're just awakening. But those who are going to get it are going to get it because this is like deep. This is deep information that may or may not resonate with everybody. But what I'm saying is you have the divine potential. You have a contract here. You have a divine plan to bring forth. Be all you can be. Wow. This is like, I'm so glad I bought this deck today. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for guiding me for this. But yeah, it's like you're in the public eye. You're meant to speak, okay, and heal people. You're very healing energy. I'm also hearing like some of you guys are very good listeners, okay? Also, some of you guys may have an emerald ring or earrings. Because you're ancient. Emeralds remind me of like archives, you know, past lives. Yeah, a lot of you guys are being initiated right now. Let's see what else. Tell me about this highly ranked spiritual worker here. We have enlightenment, exactly. Pisces. You're meant to bring enlightenment to this world and to the people. I'm also getting Scorpio with this, um, with this, yeah, the metamorphosis, okay? You're coming out of the cocoon and you're going through this huge transformation because once you do your own healing, then you will show people how to transform their life spiritually or physically. Look, you're, you are a cocoon of white light. You are a white light here. Okay, you are oneness is what I'm getting. You are oneness. You're always connected with the divine. And you have it like very balanced, right? Like it's just oneness. You don't see it as a separation. You see it as one because you're highly ranked. You're, you're already very intellectual. You're, you are the beacon of light, right? And so it says, look from the highest perspective. 
see the divine in everyone. Exactly. You see things from a higher perspective and you do see the divine in everyone. You do. You see the divine in everybody. The number 43 is here. You see the div divinity in everybody. You see how everybody is a child of God. And it's because you are that beacon of light. You are highly ranked. Okay. You already, you literally was like in, in heaven school is what I'm getting here. You were in heaven's school came back down to earth to teach the people of earth about heaven, about spirituality. But you were meant to teach and you are an ascended master is what I'm getting here. You are an ascended master coming down. There's something you've mastered. Thank you, Shauna Harvey, for your donation. Yes, love, you will find it here. There's, thank you, love. Shauna Harvey. Many blessings to you, okay? So, yeah, and then we have the enlightenment. Your enlightenment, the truth, will help set people free. Your truth, the things that you know, the wisdom that you acquired, even the hidden secrets that spirit gives you on your downloads, that spirit gives you in your dreams, that you have acquired through your enlightenment. A lot of you guys are going through spiritually, you're being spiritually awakened here. You're starting to see how we're all connected. Everything is one, okay? Go with the flow, okay? A lot of you guys are like, how can I do this? I want to do more. How can I be of service, all right? I'm seeing shooting stars. So you are a star seed. This also could mean a wish fulfillment is coming, something that you wanted. I'm seeing Pisces energy with the dolphins, okay? Atlantis energy here. But listen, if you're a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio... You're also being called to relax, to trust, accept what is happening. Yeah, because you're being initiated. You're being awakened. And some of you guys may or may not understand this, okay? You are literally might feel lost. Like, you don't know where you're going. But you're being led somewhere. And you're also deceiving, receiving um, divine guidance here. So you just need to relax and flow so that you can hear the messages better. So that you know where you're going, Okay? But know that you, this is you right here, and you have two spirit guides protecting you. Also, something about elderberry may um, mean something to you. You might live by a waterfall here. Go with the flow, okay? Go with the flow. Don't put all that pressure on you. Relax and trust that you are going to fulfill this purpose. Relax and trust that wherever you go, the, the light is there because you are the beacon of light. Anywhere you are, there's the light, right? Soul healing, exactly. You're you're here to you're here to heal people's souls, okay? You're very healing energy, and you heal people's souls when you speak to them, when you listen to them, when you hug them. Yeah, you're a spiritual warrior here. Some of you guys could be Leo, but you see this? You're a spiritual warrior. That's why you're highly ranked. Period. Yeah, you're able to command the universe. You are a wise leader. So you're being step up to lead or spirit is saying they're proud of you for leading. Let's get 145 likes here, guys. Thank you. All right. Show you are a wise leader. Some of you guys have a powerful ring, a spiritual ring. Okay, there's something in your hands that have been anointed by God because I just put on my rings. Like, you know how LeBron... And all these people have to get a ring of praise to show that they're legends, to show that they're higher power. Well, you have a ring, a spiritual ring here, okay? Because you're a spiritual warrior. You've won many battles. You're actually a spiritual warrior, which what I mean is like when you sleep, you're not sleeping. Your spirit is actually fighting demons and entities because you're also helping defeat evil here. So even while you guys are asleep, you're highly ranked. Like, imagine... Yeah, it's draining to be a light worker because the sun feels drained, I'm sure. The sun is always giving and giving, though it's infinite, right? And if people are always taking from you and you are the beacon of light, right? You light a candle, you keep um, lighting other candles, it might be draining. But know that this path, everything will flow. Trust that you are being guided. Trust that it will be abundance. It is hard. But of course, anybody, with what is that that people say? Um... With more responsibility comes more something. I don't know what that saying is. 
oh no devils more devils like that like you're gonna have more devils the more higher rank so you guys are such higher ranks that's why you're being spiritually attacked right now but god is saying the universe is saying you're actually a very powerful warrior you always win every spiritual attack every spiritual war because you're motherfucking dope okay thank you tarbarian for your 20 dollars many blessings to you okay i got your name down and then we have soul healing like i said Align with your essence. See your true colors. See who you really are. Those people who have tried to dim your light and tell you that you are not a good person, that you're not a healer, that you're weird or whatever, that you're too sensitive, okay? Oh, you're too sensitive. You're too emotional. Claim back this power. Know that all of it had allowed you to heal and other people. Soul healing. Align with your essence. Spirit is guiding me to read the meaning of that card. But I really am getting here. While you're asleep, you're a spiritual warrior. You're always literally winning the wars, right? So this also gives me, like, let's say, right, um, life is a war, right? If life is a war in this, in this, in this place right here, you're literally the, um, you're not like a, a soldier. You're the one that's leading the soldier, right? You're the commander. So. If we're, sp we're speaking in spirit world, right, you're a spiritual warrior and you're highly ranked because you literally, anytime you need to defeat something, you always win. You always win. You free your people. And with the lamb here, something about a lamb gives me like prophetic dreams. You get a lot of prophetic dreams. Yeah, spiritual warrior wants to come out. So spirit is guiding me to read these two cards. Be patient, guys, okay? I'm going to read the meaning of 16. Thank you, Whitney Lachelle, my love, for your donation. Many blessings to you, Whitney. I have your name down as well. Okay, let's see. Let me read number 16. It says, Unicorns are so pure that they can align with your soul, okay? Heal and, it's, and raise its frequency. Your soul has to be at least seventh dimensional before you are allowed to incarnate on earth it may be of even a higher frequency. Wow. I hope you guys are listening. Over eons, you have had many experiences. I just said you guys are old soul. You have had many experiences. Some of these have bruised you at a deep level. And you are waiting to be soothed and healed. Yeah, like I said, a lot of you guys are looking for that healing. Spirit is saying you are your own healer. Others have lit up and expanded your entire essence, okay? You aren't just balancing your old soul's lesson, guys. Please listen up. You are not just balancing your own soul's lesson. You're not just healing yourself or your soul. In these special times, as we prepare for the new golden age, so you guys, light workers here, you're being prepared for this new golden age, okay, that's coming. You are harmonizing and clearing any family as well as any ancestral karma recorded in your soul star chakra. So your soul is healing right now, guys. And you're going to help other people break ancestral curses as well because you've been chosen. Family and ancestral curses and karma is being restored from your soul star chakra. All right. Thank you, Paradox, for your 199. Thank you so much. Okay. So like I'm saying, let me continue reading. Wow. Sunshine Mellor. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Truly. I have your names down. Like seriously. You know, like this is amazing. But listen, because this is freaking important. All right. So you are here to, to you're being prepared for the new golden age. Okay. Okay. So you're harmonizing. This is why your soul has been healing. This is why you have been awakened. This is why you have been through so many battles physically and in the spirit world. In addition, you may be one of the brave. Listen to this, guys. Please listen, listen. In addition, 
you may be one of the brave and gracious light workers who is undertaking country as well as world karma. Oh my gosh, did you guys just hear that? Like I said, your mission, where was that? Your mission is not just to heal yourself. That's beautiful. That's majestic. Spirit is saying some of you guys, some of you guys are light workers that are literally cosmic. So your essence is about the world, okay? You're here to break a world karma, okay? You've been here since the beginning. You're not only heal, healing you, your ancestors, and your family, but the world as a collective, right? You're healing the collective, countries, nations. Listen up. This is no BS, by the way. I was led to buy this deck today, thanks to your donations. I was led to buy this deck. It was so random. It was right next to the synchronicity, the synchronicity oracle. And I'm like, really? Should I buy this? Duh. It says synchronicity on it. Anyways, your guidance now is to ask your unicorn to work with you both in and out of your conscious awareness to help you heal all that needs to be released and purified. Okay? You guys, some of you guys need to really cleanse your energy and purify it. Heal all those trauma, childhood wounds, molestation, rapes, abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, abandonment. All those things need to be healed and released because you are a purified soul, okay? You are so pure. The lamb, the lamb speaks of purity. You have the courage. You have the strength. You have the innocence. You have the innocence. So you need to purify your soul. You're a cosmic fucking diamond. And let me tell you, diamonds always grow in the rough, right? In the rough. Your eyes are the windows to your soul. So look into the unicorn's eyes and ask it to reflect back to you your true soul's colors. You guys, something about your true soul's color keeps coming up twice. You need to know who you really are. You need to know your soul's true colors. You may be aware of blue, gold, pink, violet, or any other hue. Seeing who you are enables your celestial companion to bring your core spirit forward. So yes, seeing who you are will attract you, your love, but also seeing who you are will make people stand in their truth, guys. Because people are watching you. It's like you're meant to be admired. This could already be happening, but your light, you see this light is cosmic. Look at all your radiance. In each individual person, you illuminate them. You activate them. Okay? My soul is beautiful and perfect. This spirit says this should be an affirmation you continue saying. My soul is beautiful and perfect. And I feel like it's been a little hard for you guys to really accept this due to all the trauma that you've been through. But you must never forget that you're actually tremendously magical. Now, I feel guided to read the spiritual warrior. Number 37. Okay. Let's see what the number 37 has to say. Make sure that you're really looking into your divine potential, okay? Do not settle for less. Let's get 173 likes in here, guys. Thank you. Okay, when you are a spiritual warrior, you are strong, courageous, and wise. You use your power to protect the weak and vulnerable. This is what you're doing. You're using your power to protect the weak and vulnerable. Some of you guys were bullied as a child, and now you're teaching others not to bully. You know, things like that. You are honest and honorable. That's why you're highly ranked. You are honest. You are honorable. You are cosmic. You are divine. You can access divine abundance. Not, not some earthly plane. Like divine abundance, dude. Emeralds. Okay? Emeralds. Like that's some crazy... Hold on. You are emotionally mature because your masculine and your feminine qualities are in equilibrium. You guys are so balanced with your masculinity and your um, femininity, okay? You are a natural leader with authority, charisma, and grace, and you empower others to do so. Exactly. You're, you're, you're a natural-born leader because you are teaching people, right, things you know, but you're also... You empower others to do their best. And that's what makes you a leader. Right? You're not just some cocky person. You, you empower others. You make sure that when you walk out that room and you have that conversation with that person or people. Okay? Yeah. When you receive this card, 
You are being called to look within and see that you have the qualities of a spiritual warrior. Stand in your power with wisdom. Your unicorn is alerting you that choosing this card means that the universe will bring forth an opportunity for you to meddle. So be prepared. Some of you guys are already doing this. Others of you are being initiated to be the spiritual warrior that you are. To come into this right now. You're being asked to have courage. You want to know why? Because you are highly ranked in the spirit world. You have authority. So what I'm getting here is you can command the universe at your will to do whatever you want. Literally, you can do this. You can command things in people's lives. Like you remember in the story of Jesus when Jesus would say like, you are healed. Let's just say like, you know, like you can walk now. You are healed. Like you are able to do that in people's lives. You're able to declare that beauty into their life because you're a powerful light worker, right? At this level of spiritual development, you no longer make requests. Okay, spirit is saying you don't make requests no more. You're a highly ranked individual. You no longer make requests for you are the leader who commands. Guys, I wish we could speak like, listen, you are the leader who commands. That's why you're highly ranked, okay? Wow, this is so powerful. You don't follow, okay? You no longer make requests. You command. You need to command. You have that power. So tap into that power. You can command shit, all right? So be clear and firm about what you want and where you're going. Know that legions of angels, listen, you guys are protected by legions of angels, unicorns, and light beings, okay? That's how powerful you are. You have millions of light beings around you and angels protecting you. You are able to command these angels. You're able to command these angels, spirit guides, light workers, light beings who are around you as well as the universe. That's some fucking authority. God has given you authority. Because you are such a high, highly ranked individual, you have authority now. You're literally shifting. All these cards are saying you're shifting to the golden age. All right, so do some research about that, guys. Thank you, Monica Smith, for your donation. Okay, I got your name down, Monica Smith. Thank you so much. So yeah, that was such an important card, guys. This is my favorite card. Command. Don't request. Command. I want this now. Why? Because you have divine abundance. Divine abundance. Everything is access to you. The, the rainbows, the portals, everything can open to you. This is so fucking powerful. You are the beacon of light. I'm actually being called to read this one too. Not going to lie. Let me read number 31. I really like this card, guys. Thank you for your donations. Truly like everything that's happening right now is, is magical. I feel it. I feel it. Someone here, his name is Diana. I heard it loud and clear. Stephanie, Diana, Kimberly. Okay, those are the names I just noticed. I'm sorry that we're all females, but okay, Ronald. Ronald. All right, Cosmic Emerald, 31. Let's see what's going on. But well, remember, you're a cosmic diamond. Like, what? It don't get better than that. Exactly. We don't ride the wave. We create them. You guys create. You're here to create something new. I can't wait to use the synchronicity cards. So please stay in this live, guys. Okay? This is a very important message. Obviously, I don't feel like you will click off it because you know this is important. Yes, it is the age of Aquarius. We are in the golden age right now. That's why you're being called to step into this. This is the age of Aquarius. All right? So this is the card, it says, this is the card of abundance. It invites you to expand what you believe you deserve and accept plenty for the development of the, the benevolent of the universe. You are a benevolent creature. Archangel Raphael is working with you, okay? You guys have the blue ray of healing and the yellow ray of wisdom. Wow, did you hear that? You have the blue ray of healing and the yellow ray of wisdom. Wow. Wow. And that helps people find energy, trust, clarity, mind, loyalty, friendship, prosperity, high enlightenment. Because, yeah, I feel like you guys are a very high frequency here. Your frequency is freaking high. So Archangel Raphael is in charge of the development of the third eye of enlightenment. So your third eye is very open. For some of you, this is opening right now. You're remembering your power. Okay? You're able to manifest abundance consciously here as well as perfect health for your life. 
So Spirit is saying, all you have to do is set your intention, guys. Command the universe, but make sure that when you command the universe, so it's a bow at your feet, you know what you want, right? Because I'm hearing that thing, like, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. You just might get it, because you just might get it. So, yeah, be careful what you wish for. You're that powerful. Anything you want, you can manifest when it's a clear intention. Okay? So, um, thank you so much, um, Paradox, for your other donation. I am doing a tarot class, guys. I forgot to mention this, all right? I am working on my Patreon. I'm launching it perhaps this week. I'll drop the first video. But basically, I'm offering a course here where I'll be teaching tarot, all right, my own way, okay? This is my own way. And if you guys resonate with me and you like the way that I read, I will be teaching you tips and everything like that. I will have a package deal, okay? I'm either making it um, $111.00. And then for those that want an in-depth class will be 222, okay? But spirit is still guiding me here, guys. So be patient. I promise you that, you know, I, I will be a great teacher to you. Okay, so let me read the, um, let me finish the Cosmic Emerald. Okay. Yeah, so you're on a spiritual journey right now. You're meant to have happiness, success, and abundance, okay? Because you're just highly ranked. Do you think a child of God that is highly ranked is going to be broke? Even if you're broke right now, you need to know that you're not meant to this. You're abundant, but you've been blocking your own blessings, some of you guys. You haven't believed that you can command this power. You are a spiritual warrior. You are a very prophetic dreamer here. You are a high priestess, high priests, okay? All right. So, yeah, I love this deck, by the way, guys. Like, I'm already obsessed for those of you that want to get it, okay, it's called the uh, Magic of Unicorns. All right, now let's get into the synchronicity cards. I'm more excited to use this one. Okay, so something about your DNA is very special. I'm getting something in your DNA is extremely fucking... You have a special gift in your DNA. I don't know if this is due to your bloodline or something, but something was instilled in your DNA that is very powerful. Let's see what that is. Ancestor Spirit, guys, what is the synchronicities here for these powerful, highly ranked beings watching this video? So, yeah... Some of you guys already read tarot or you're wanting to learn tarot here, okay? You you know how to tap into the veil and really like a high priestess, high priest, no information, okay? I'm hearing you are the key. So you have the key to something, to some secret knowledge. Each and every one of you individually have some secret knowledge here that you need to uh, tap into. And with this wheel, I'm getting like, this is part of your destiny, okay? This is part of your destiny. Some of you guys have twin flames here. See this twin flame? You're not meant to do this alone. You have a twin flame. For others of you, this could also mean tantric sex. So you could be a yoga teacher. You could be teaching kundalini energy or like tantric sex. Okay? Um, Yoga. Some of you guys are yoga teachers. And yeah, I'm getting something about a clown. So somebody could have made fun of your, of your gifts, of you being a psychic. But they're about to see who the fuck you are, though. You have you. I'm, I'm hearing you are the key. Okay, you are the key to something that's shifting. Let's see what else. Yeah, some of us are actual angels here for sure. All right, we have the yin yang. Some of you guys could have these tattoos. Okay, remember these are the synchronicity cards. So you could have a tattoo of this, of this right here. Okay, you could have a tattoo of the yin yang. Like I said, you guys have a divine partnership here, okay? You have a twin flame that you've been with in a past life, okay? I'm also getting here, um, like you're not brainwashed. See this? You guys, some of you guys don't even watch TV. You're here to um, awaken people that have been asleep, that are still programmed. Something about mind controlled. It's like you're able to break mind controlled here. People that are mind controlled, you're able to just... Break that spell or hex. Some of you guys have Buddhas in your house or you follow this religion, okay? But yeah, what's this about their DNA? Yeah, I'm getting like you're 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 a king, you're a queen, you're a goddess, you're a god here, like you're highly ranked. I'm seeing a crown. You guys literally have a crown, or something about your crown chakra is very activated, but I'm seeing a crown, like you're just highly crowned. Some of you guys have a past life in Egypt here. Okay, you may connect with Thoth. Some of you guys are writers. 
Okay, this is what you like to gain knowledge, especially secret knowledge or, um, yeah, forbidden knowledge. You, I'm hearing you have forbidden knowledge. And this forbidden knowledge is here to, to bring balance in the world. Some of you guys are Libras here, okay? I'm also hearing like you're a very powerful alchemist. You know how to do magic, um, you know, practice white magic. And you, you everything that you touch is gold. You know how to alchemize things, restore the balance in the universe and within yourself. Some of you guys, like I said, maybe into the hieroglyphics and ancient wisdom. But with this bitten apple, I feel like you have some sort of forbidden knowledge that you need to tap into. Maybe this might be about chakra or about relationships or about tantric sex. I keep picking up tantric sex for some of you guys, okay? Okay, and then we have the, um yeah, writers. Some of you guys are writers here because I'm seeing ink. You may have a tattoo or you could be a tattoo artist. But look at these wings, air signs. You're an earth angel here, okay? And look, you see this handshake? You made a deal with the universe. You made a deal with God here. All right, to be an infinite being, whatever this path is. Like, you're meant to be connected to a lot of people. See, I told you I kept seeing a crown. See the crown right there? Look at the sun. Some of you guys could be Leo. Okay, divine masculines, divine feminine. Some of you guys may have a dream catcher tattoo or a, or a feather. 3.14. All right, maybe you know some secrets about pi and 3.14. Some of you guys could be mathematicians or very good at math. Sagittarius energy is here. Okay, Sagittarius is here. And we have the crown. So yeah, royalty. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you, Carl, for the support. So yeah, you're making movement now. Some of you guys have a bike. You like going back, uh, bike riding here. This helps you find peace, calm. Um, some of you guys could have a tattoo of this, okay, of any of these items here. I'm getting like you know how to run laps uh, um, around people. It's like you run laps. You win first place. Somebody here could have won first place while being in a race or something. I'm also getting like, um, yeah, another crown. This is two different cards with crowns. Just to define this royalty that you are, see? And remember I said you guys are kings and queens? This is chess, okay? You know how to make moves here. You calculate your moves. You're a power move, right? Checkmate is what I'm getting. You know how to checkmate people. You're a very hard worker. You're very intuitive. I also just heard go. Anything else about this that highly... Yeah, you guys feel like you're aliens and entities here. Some of you guys can contact entities here that's you're highly ranked you're very cosmic okay you're connected to starseed aliens here some of you guys could have dreams just be drawn to ancient aliens whatever it is or you may feel like an alien okay like an outcast um arrows to axe <laughs> yeah now we have an axe okay this gives me earth energy um yeah look at this here i forgot what this is called but it's like you're actually very aligned. Let me see what that's called right there. Yeah, something about your genetics is different, I'm also hearing. You're also very creative and you know how to communicate, okay? You have very strong um, communication skills. I'm also getting you guys are prophets here, okay? You have very strong instincts. Some of you guys could read palms, tarot. The arrow means um, tunnel vision. So it's like you're very focused or you need to focus, okay? Damn, where was that? I can't find it. So anyways, let's continue. Anything else here, Spirit, for my highly ranked individuals here, light workers? What's this message about? Any other details that we should know? Another crown. There's just a lot of crowns, a lot of royalty. I'm also getting like a lot of royalty, right? When somebody's famous and they get a lot of royalty and things like that, like, like that's the universe. That's the divine gifts. Like you're always being blessed by the universe in one way or another. Okay. Um, I keep seeing this key. So it's like you're meant to unlock something. You know a secret to something. The secret to, I don't know if it's ancient knowledge 
or something that you can tap into. Okay, it's it's you who are who is the key to this. And in divine timing, your intuition will be guiding you. Sagittarius energy here. Some of you guys could be Capricorn. Okay, this is the goat. Some of you guys could be Capricorn watching. But yeah, you see this dove? You're highly connected to the divine with this dove right here. Highly connected to the divine. You get spiritual downloads and messages here. Thank you, everybody, who's joined me at this live right now. I really appreciate you guys. I'm seeing Pisces energy here. Okay. Somebody here may have a cat. But, yeah, you see this, this star right here? Some of you guys are really, you know how to tap into some, um, what is the alchemy? Let me see what the star means. Alchemy, witchcraft, spell work. It says health elements. Yeah, you, you know how to work with the elements. Okay, some of you guys may work with apples here, but um, apple may be significant in you because I'm seeing a lot of apples. To me, apples remind me of ancient wisdom, forbidden fruit, Adam and Eve. That may mean something to you. All right. I'm also getting the beginning. You've been here since the beginning. Uh, wait, what was that? What was that symbol I was going to get? Yeah, so you guys are going through a rebirth right now, says Spirit. You're going through a major rebirth, or you're meant to go through a major rebirth before you awaken this power, because this is your, your soul's resonance. This is your spirit trying to communicate with you. Yeah, I told you with that alien card, some of you guys feel like an outsider, okay? You feel like you don't have an identity, or you have a very weird identity, or it's very hard for you to... Find your identity. You don't really resonate with other people in this planet because you are a star seed. But yeah, you know about fake news. You know about the matrix. You know about propagandas. You know about mind control. Spirit gives you messages about wars that may happen in the future. Like this is powerful. But I'm getting like you're highly divine here and you get spiritual messages with this dove. Some of you guys may have a dove tattoo. Some of you guys wear glasses. But this gives me like your sight. A lot of people watch you. You have people that, that watch you and get tarot readings on you. They want to know what's up with you. For some of you, this could be family members with this DNA here. But see, you're able to access the cosmos, the, the galaxies here, like the truth. You're able to go basically in the deep web of the spiritual world, if that makes any sense. All right, I'm putting this cards away. But yeah, some of you guys may really be interested in magic and alchemy, something like that. And yeah, look at this candle here. You're a light worker. You're meant to illuminate here, okay? Beautiful. All right, let's get some last messages here. I'm going to use my old deck. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, who has liked the video, shared, subscribed, liked. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, okay? So literally, you know when I'm coming through. Hey, shout out to all of y'all for being so awesome. All right, let's see what's the last messages here. So my, whoa. Doorway. Okay, I'm getting some of you guys literally have the power like to move things like telekinesis or something like suddenly you don't even realize that you have that power like your hands are powerful your energy is powerful especially when you're angry okay we have capricorn energy the devil on the bottom so there may be a lot of temptation or haters around you negative energy toxic narcissist people i'm getting that empath versus narcissist paradigm Okay, with this doorways, like I said, you guys can literally access spiritual doors here, okay? I'm also getting you something about you knowing your temple. Look, in the spirit, you go through doors here. Your spirit guides show you things, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys are being initiated to walk to a certain door right now. Yes, that's a portal. That's a number 11. Your life path number could be 11, or you could be seeing 11, 11. There's a door, a portal you're being led to. Heaven is calling you. Some of you guys feel like heaven calling you, not in the sense where you feel you're going to die, but you, you know, because you feel like um, you're very connected to the divine. What else, spirit? Welcome everyone who just came. We have the world. I told you you're connected to the world. You're here to fulfill a mission for the world here. 
be open to new possibilities. Some of you guys are being called to travel. There's a cycle ending here. You're being asked to let go and walk away to this place that doesn't serve you. I'm also getting here like you. Some of you guys are getting dreams or something about um, your, your spiritual contract before you came down this earth. I'm seeing somebody like literally above the earth coming into it as an earth angel knowing their purpose. Some of you guys always knew. Thank you, the Hierophant, for your donation. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are high priestess. You're Hierophants, all right? Thank you for your donation. Now, let's see. We have time. Like I said, you guys can travel through time. You can access the portal of time and access information in the Akashic Records. Some of you guys have literally seen and been in this um, warp of time here like I have. Because this shit real. You know what I mean? You might have had an experience like that while you were dreaming. Where it felt like you traveled even outside of this world. Okay? To another galaxy. Because you're able to do that. Yeah, I'm seeing the number 33 as well. 11 and 33. What else, spirit? What else? About this highly ranked individual. Yeah, nature. You could be an earth sign. But it's like nature bows to you. You're so highly ranked that the birds, the animals, the plants, they respect you. They know who you are. They know your energy. You're so connected with Mother Gaia. You're in that oneness energy, okay? So even the air fucking respects you type shit. Like literally, you feel the connection. Everything around you feels like pure and oneness here. And we have butterflies, Scorpio energy. Okay, you may be seeing a lot of butterflies, but I feel like you're here to make change. You're here to change yourself or your perception of yourself as well as great change. This felt on world. So some of someone here or a few of you guys are meant to create big changes in the world. Five, five, five. Big, big changes in the world. Cosmic change, okay, that could affect the timeline. Some of you guys have to do something with this timeline here. I don't know what that means to you. Something about your past life is being closed. There's a past life cycle that's also being closed. I'm getting so many downloads right now. Thank you, um, my my Miney Relox. Thank you for your donation. Miney Relox. Sorry if I say your name wrong. Okay, I have you guys' names down. The list is so big. I am so blessed thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. Literally, each and every one of your souls is dope. Now, let's see. Yeah, something about you being patient here. Divine timing. Something's happening in divine orchestration. When the moment comes, I'm hearing judgment. Whoa. <laughs> Clarify this time. Yeah, some of you guys can travel through time, okay? Clarify time here. Lovers. Like I said, there's a certain connection here that you might have connected to telepathically, somebody, okay? This could be a lover. For some of you guys, it is a lover. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. The time will come where you will have to choose, says spirit. The time will come where you will have to choose. Because there's great change. What is this that what is this decision that they will have to choose? Maybe it's you and another lover. Okay, we have coins. We have a lot of abundance. Remember, we already had the card of prosperity popping up. That's double the confirmation. You're freaking rich. You're freaking abundant. There's more money coming to you. You're a highly breast. Remember, we said divine abundance. Divine abundance, meaning it comes from the heavens. Anytime you get blessed, it's your angels. Okay, it's not temptation. It's not the evil. It's come from the heaven. Look, you are anointed. Look, you're anointed. You're highly favored. That's why you get a lot of money. That's why you get a lot of support because you're highly favored or you're about to literally look. You're gold. Everything you touch is freaking gold. Thank you, Mogul Magic. Thank you so much for your donation. Some of you guys are lefties here, just like me. I always feel called to say that to someone out there. Thank you so much, Lanier Mogul Magic, okay? Thank you for your donation. Got your names written down, my loves. All right, so listen, a whole bunch of money is coming to you. The time will come for you to make a decision about this money. This, um, Spirit is saying rainbows. Like I keep saying, rainbows may really mean something to somebody here because I kept seeing it throughout the whole reading. 
However, with the rainbows, I'm getting you're about to receive double the miracle. And for some of you, it's love. It's a lover. The time has come for you to meet this lover, this divine twin flame, and come into union for some of you if you haven't met this person and have money. You're about to have love and money in your life. The time has come. You're getting miracles. This is the rainbow. Okay, this is that promise, right? This is that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Beautiful. Yeah, look, beware, okay, guys? You need to beware about energy vampires. You need to beware of haters, people that hate your light, your divinity, who you are, what you're being called to do. You need to beware of other people that are false prophets. You know that you are not false. So beware of the people that are also trying to derail you or block your blessings. You are a blessing. You are a walking miracle. And you must believe that, okay? You must also believe and open to receive these blessings that are trying to come into your life clearly, okay? Some of you guys need to let go and walk out of something very toxic, all right? It says, be careful who you trust at this time. Be careful who you trust with this information, telling them who you are or this money that's about to come in, whatever this means to you, okay? You're being asked to really reevaluate the circle that's around you. Some of you guys are about to reunite with a twin flame from a past life. Or in this life, there's a reunion. There's a unity. You're meant to unify marriages, people, love, friends. But also you and another person are meant to unite here. Yeah, lovers. See? Can't make it up. And third eye. You guys are highly favored, highly awakened individuals. When you meditate, you can literally tap into your third eye and tap into some deep, crazy shit that people may just call you crazy because they don't understand you, but you know it's real. Okay? And we have the lovers. So some of you guys may have two lovers that you have to choose from, or this person has two lovers to choose from, put you in a third party. I don't know. But there's a lover that you're also in a divine connection with, as we kept picking up, a past life. The moon may be significant, Cancer energy, or Gemini. But you see this? It's like, it's romance. You guys come from the galaxies here, okay? Your third eye. You're both very awakened, very highly intuitive. Thank you, T. Bollinger, for your donation. Thank you so much. I have your name down too. All right, let's see. So Epiphany, yeah, guys, listen, there's a money idea coming to you guys. It's not even about the money, but this will bring you a lot of money is what Spirit is saying. You're very bright. You're always getting ideas. You're always like a light bulb, like ding. You're so creative. You're about to have some sort of epiphany. Or I also feel like there's a lover that's about to have some sort of epiphany about who you are and about this connection. Take it how it resonates. Now we also have white light here. You're very powerful light worker, as you can see these wings. You're highly protected, cover, covered by white light here by Archangel Michael. But you're also meant to bring this white light to the world and cover them, protect people with this white light. You can put, you can do that to people. So even energetically, you can send, oh, I want to send Maji to Priestess love and light and cover her with white light. You have this ability to send that love and light to other people, okay? So you're going to get some sort of epiphany about your, this may come in the sign of numbers, synchronicities you're, you're adding something up listen i'm really getting here there's also a snake in your circle somebody may just be very jealous about your abilities some of you guys have gifts of music here you're singers performers you play an instrument guitar piano or you're very highly intuitive like to music this is how you get your downloads either you write your lyrics or you listen to them and you pay attention and that's how you connect with your higher self with your soul with spirit somebody here is very in tune with music yeah, and you're meant to be a star out of this Aquarius energy. You're meant to shine bright like a diamond, period. You have many talents, and it's time for you to be abundant, okay? It says, hard times are over, first of all. The hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Literally, right? We already had abundance, positivity. We had love. We have change coming. Unity, rainbows, enlightenment. And now we have celebration on the bottom. You're about to pop champagne. Wait, that's that's here so you can see it. See? You're about to be rewarded here and be celebrated in one way or another. It might be this abundance here. And somebody may just not like it, be very hater. Some of you guys need to ground your energy. Go outside in nature. Okay? Definitely protect your energy. Beware of jealousy. Because you're about to get these coins. You're about to get into this prosperity right now. Okay? All right. Lastly, I'm going to pull um, from here so I can pull out some zodiac signs. I know you guys like that. 
Okay, this is another deck I bought due to your donations. This was two days ago, though. I'm trying to buy a new deck a day, but I feel like that's even too much. Once a week or twice a week. <coughs> Ancestor Spirit got the highest white light. <coughs> what zodiac signs do we have here today? What zodiac signs do we have? Whoa. <laughs> Something about these cards falling, okay? I don't know. We have Virgo, okay? We have Virgo in the house. So yeah, powerful healers, okay? You're meant to bring harmony in the world. We also have conjunction. So you may have a conjunction in your birth chart here with air. What else? What are the signs? Something about your 11th house and community here, okay? You guys are meant to have a community. We have Saturn. You may have Saturn in your chart, okay? You're definitely, you've learned your lessons, and now all those hard lessons that you learned, you have to teach them to people. You're being called to step into that, okay? Reevaluate your relationships around you. Guys, you're going through a rebirth, Pluto energy, Scorpio energy. You're going through a rebirth. You're going from the, um, the caterpillar to a butterfly, so it's time to reevaluate your relationship, especially because there is a divine connection here for somebody that you have. This comes from a past life. Yeah, let go of the past. Let go of the past. There's a past here that's blocking your current relationship. We have Sagittarius here. You may be Sagittarius or have that in your chart. And we have Ascendant. Okay? You're entering a whole new... Yeah, wow. You're entering a whole new plateau. Okay? Yeah, you're being invited somewhere. What is this? You're being spiritually invited. Look, we have cancer in the house. Okay? So you may have cancer here. Something about your emotions. The way you express yourself. You're intuitive. Uh, you're intuitive. The number 33 keeps popping up here. And 444. Four, four. And then we have Uranus. Change. You're here to make impactful, huge change. Right? And you will. You will. Because you're also changing. Right? Huge. This is Uranus. This is big, impactful change. And we also have Aries in the house, guys. We have Aries, strong, natural leader. We also have Taurus, Earth. Okay, we have Taurus. Whatever you're cultivating, it's growing, and it's going to bring you abundance, okay? Aquarius, again. All right? Aquarius, again, something about the way that you communicate. Your words are powerful. The way you sing, the way that you use communication, whether it's writing a book, whatever it is, communication to you, you're going on a journey. So make sure you, you kind of like journal your things down. All right. You're also meant to collaborate with somebody or people. Get out of your comfort zone. Like I said, you guys are awakening Kundalini's energy. Once you communicate, you're activating people. You're reawakening them to know your power. And you see the staff. This is that, that staff you have. The universe has given you this powerful staff that anything you say goes, right? Like I said, you have authority. You have authority. This is powerful. Like I said, this reading is powerful. And if it's too much for you guys, you know, click off or watch it when you're ready. Divine timing, Mars energy. So something about anger, okay? Channel your anger differently. We have Gemini with bees here. So royalty and we have Venus. So you're very beautiful, very attractive, very motherly, very nurturing. And you're being called to have that. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio. Okay. There is a certain partnership someone here has. Okay. I don't know who's that for or how many of you guys. But somebody here has a divine partnership as well that you're meant to unite. And with the Aquarius, someone here or a few of you are really meant to shine and be in the public eye and share your gifts, okay? You're literally a star. In whatever way, whether this is in a small community or in the whole world, I do know here somebody on this live is going to be known in literally the whole world. Something that they're doing is going to be very impactful. Take what resonates though, guys. If you would like to book a personal reading... Okay, the information is down below. If anybody likes to um, donate to my Cash App or PayPal so I can get direct donations, please do so at the link below, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to close out my beautiful loves with um, this deck right here. This is my Lightworker deck. 
Let's see any last messages. Okay, you guys are being encouraged right now to create a God box and journal. Speak to God to vacuum away fear, okay? What is the last message here for my collective regarding this beautiful light worker spirit? Yeah, vacuum away fear. You guys are you guys are afraid of your own power. You can't be doing that shit. You can't be afraid of your own power. I am Kalila. Thank you for your donation, love. Many blessings to you. I am Kalila. Kalia. Thank you for your donation. So let's see what the last message is here, yeah? God box. I'm telling you, create a God box here. Release all your worries, all concerns, all desires. Write it on a piece of paper. Speak to God. Speak to the universe. Connect with your spirituality. Okay? This God box that you create, it's kind of like you kind of thinking like, all right, I'm going to send this mail to God. And so obviously you're not really sending it, but spiritually you are. So every time you write and you put it in a God box, you title it God box. You can just really feel like it's going to the heavens, whatever concerns you have. Look, twin flame. I can't even make it up. See, some of you guys really do have a divine partnership here. You have a twin flame that you're meant to be doing this with. Yes, because you're an earth angel earth angel it says you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love see I, i'm telling you if you guys can see this clearly my camera is whack it's my phone that i'm using i'm still trying to collect okay to get a camera so like i said if you guys really feel guided to donate so that i could buy a dope camera here for the channel i already hit 15k and i'm still using this old phone Vacuum away fear. I can't make it up. Okay. Someone's crown chakra is being activated right now as I speak. That's why your head is itching. Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangel Michael. You're also here meant to... um, Yeah. Crystals. Okay. You're meant to work with crystals here. Whatever you do. Either if it's for yourself or for the healing of others. Cut your cords, okay? So cut your cords. Guys, remember those snakes, all right, that you need to be aware of? You need to cut cords with somebody here that's toxic. It could be people or a person. You need to really do a, a cord cutting ritual, especially right now that your third eye is opening and you're becoming highly sensitive, all right? Somebody here may just be energy vampire taking from your energy. It's causing you to cloud your judgment. You're really seeing foggy. It's blocking your third eye, especially right now. You're becoming enlightenment. You don't need this negative energy, lower vibration. People that, that are working through the through fears or something like that, right? You need people that empower you and are fearless. So exactly. Your haters are. Look, some of you guys need to heal some parents, some family issues. All right. Spirit is saying you need to understand that your parents loved you as much as they could love you. Because what a person loves a, another person as far as they love themselves. I feel like some of your parents didn't know how to love you. That's the best way they could have. Whatever way that was, that was the best way through through what how they had, okay? Yes, look, just to finish it up. Look at look read that card. You are a powerful light worker. Period. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual powers bring great blessings in loving service of the divine. You're so powerful. The universe is always happy with you because you're always helping people. And look, some of you guys here are definitely pro uh, profoundly clairvoyant. You can see here. You're a seer. You're a psychic. You can see. You're a clairvoyant. You literally get prophetic dreams. And you have highly, highly powerful manifestation power. Whatever you want, you get. Thank you, Purple Sage, for your donation. Many blessings to you. Purple sage. Yeah, something about that color purple I keep channeling through here. But yeah, look, some of you guys have the power of mediumship, okay? You can speak with diseased uh, loved ones that passed away. And you have, like I said, a very powerful crown chakra activated here. It says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages from the divine. Okay, so that's why you guys are getting epiphanies and ideas. These are coming from your angels, the divine, all right? Yeah, some of you guys literally need to do a cut uh, cut some cords here that are toxic in your life with certain individuals. Some of you guys are connected to fairies and also you're being asked to um, forgive, okay? Forgive your parents, 
Forgive those that hurt you so that you are able to welcome in a brand new beginning. It really shows the universe that you're healing. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Mia Vanna. Mia. I was, oh my God, I could fucking say that. Mia Vasquez. There we go. Thank you, Mia Vasquez, <laughs> for your donation. Look, now I get to flip the page. You guys are amazing. Let's see. Mia Vasquez. 87. Many blessings to you. Yeah, purple is the crown chakra. That is fact. Ooh. Claim who you are. Know who you are. Know your true colors. Not what people tell you you are, you know? <laughs> I'm reading some of you guys' comments because I, I wasn't able to read them as I was doing the reading here. Yeah. Never be scared of your power, though that is the human thing. I feel like humans are essentially afraid of who they are or who they may be. Just know Archangel Raphael and Michael is working with a lot of you guys right now in your healing, as well as since they know you're healers, okay? They're giving you spiritual gifts at this time. Ahaha, <laughs> Lulu! Lulu, you're so funny. You put the L capitalized this time. You're going to have me crack up. Stop. Why did you just join this live? You're literally having me crack up, Lulu. Oh my gosh. She was like, let me make sure I put the L capitalized. Thank you for your donation, Lulu. Many blessings to you. Thank you. I am Kamiya. I am Kamiya, the Aquarian goddess. Yes, you are. Ooh, we got an Aquarian goddess over here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I have your names down, okay? I got your names down. Thanks for donating. So, yeah, Spirit is saying pay attention to the signs, okay? There's been signs, whether it's videos you're watching, synchronicities, numbers, birds in your dreams. Whatever these signs are, you're getting signs, so there's an answer that's coming. You just need to pay attention to the signs. You could be seeing the number 33, rainbows, doves. Yeah, some of you guys are seeing signs in the clouds. Thank you so much, Z Guy. Wow. Thank you for your that big donation, Mr. Z Guy. Thank you so much. Many blessings to you. I got your name down too, Z Guy. Thank you, I am Kalia. Thank you for your donation too. You guys are amazing. If you would like to donate to my Cash App or PayPal, that's also another option. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention to the synchronicities. That's why I got this deck today. The Synchronicity Oracle. Yeah, I'm also hearing like a lot of you guys are focused in something. You're hitting the bull's eye, okay? You're about to hit some type of success here. Yeah, somebody's about to hit some type of success. Yeah, look at the bull's eye. I said that. Look, target. Mm -hmm. I saw 222 this morning, too. I was like, damn. I've been seeing all the numbers, though, every day. I see all the numbers. I'm like, what does this mean already? If every day I'm seeing 444. Four, four. Look, right now we have 333 three, three likes as we speak. Like, we can't make this up, guys. This is the universe speaking here and now. Look, 333 three, three likes. That's a number right there, you know, to tell you this is a freaking divine reading here. Maji ain't a joke. All right? Salute to Lulu. <laughs> hey, we got the UK. Lulu's from the UK. Welcome, everybody, from all over the world. All right, hold on. I'm being called to use this one, last one, and then I'll close this reading out. All right. I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> Thank you, Margarita Cox, for your donation as well. Margarita Cox, many blessings to you. Brown eyes agents. No, wait, brown eyes gent. 
<laughs> Thank you for your beautiful donation as well. Okay, I have you guys' names down. I got you. I almost said agent. <laughs> All right, let's see what the angels have to give you before we go. Since you're highly favored and highly connected to the angels. What is your angel's guidance here and right now? Welcome, New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys are, are giving the opportunity to forgive somebody right now. Take this opportunity. 444 means you are protected, like huge divine protection right now, which we already saw, you guys. Wow, it's 333 three, three in the in the in the UK. Welcome, Cas Cas. Ancestors spirits of the highest white light. What is the last message here to close out this reading? Okay, we have innocence. I told you you were innocent. I said something about your innocence, right? Thank you, Lulu. Oh, you're so sweet. Look, okay, you are you are the beloved one. You are beloved by the universe and God, okay? You are innocent. Like you're just an earth angel. Look at look at this freaking halo. I'm getting that Beyonce song Halo. All right, I feel like people could see your halo. People could see your divinity. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Like people could just sense it. They can be like, wow. Yeah, I could tell this person is, is is special or something. I'm getting something like that. We also have heart chakra. You have a very beautiful heart. It's innocent, okay? It doesn't matter that you've never done nothing bad. That's not what I'm saying. Everybody sins. But I'm saying, like, there's just an innocence about you. you. You're always caring for people and finding a way to bring light. As well, I feel like some of you guys need to practice forgiveness and heal your heart, okay? Ancestors, spirit guides. Okay, we have energy work. Like I said, you guys are light workers. You're meant to be doing this energy work. You're meant to be doing Reiki. You're meant to be healing people here. You have powerful healing hands, okay? And they're being activated. Some of you guys already have clients or you're being called to do some type of healing work with clients here, okay? Whether it's Reiki, massage therapy, I don't know. Uh, divination, whatever it is, okay? You're an energy worker here. All you have to do is ask, right? command you you have the authority all you have to do is ask and your angels give you what you like what you have and look life purpose you have an extreme life purpose here your life purpose is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others especially children you might want to work with children you may be writing children's book all right. Don't worry about finding your purpose or you could heal people with their childhood traumas, childhood wounds. OK, childhood healing. OK, so focus, focus on purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So some of you guys have been doing this. You just been yourself your whole life, just been kind. And then that's how you found your purpose. I'm also hearing in divine timing, you will find your purpose as you serve your community. Yeah. Focus on ser on service. If you focus on service here, how can you serve humanity? How can you serve the people around you? You will know what your life purpose is, okay? Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. And there's that unicorn again. This isn't that same deck. This is this is a unicorn here. So some of someone here is connected to the unicorns in a past life. Put your entire focus Upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving. Just stay in service. Give. And you shall receive from the universe as you give. Okay? Continue giving this energy work that you do. Okay? Some of you guys are getting prepared for a wedding. You've been praying for your spouse. You've been praying for your spouse. You've been staying in service. Asking God for a lover here. Spirit is saying, be open to receive because you've been giving a lot. Okay, just notice the signs. Spirit is saying, you already met somebody. I'm giving you the signs of somebody coming in. There's something about you having to notice the signs, like literally the synchronicities. They're giving you whether it's coins, feathers, numbers. Pay attention at this time. Yeah, some of you guys need to go out for fresh air and reward yourself. So ground your energy, walk barefoot on the grass, depending on the weather where you're at. Okay, it's time for you to reward yourself. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way, okay? Especially because you're highly ranked. It's time for you to freaking reward yourself. You've done all the work. You've been doing all the healing. You focused on service. It's also good to reward yourself, right? The balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy mood. So there's something about you always having to give to yourself and to others. Yes, you do give a lot, but what about yourself? Make sure it's balanced, right? Because breathing... 
It's inhale, exhale. You can't just inhale and not exhale. And you cannot just exhale without inhale. So you need both. Give and receive. Inhale, exhale. Go out for fresh air. This is the message I have for you guys. Thank you to everybody who was here for this entire hour that we did this for. Focus on family. Focus on healing your family, your kids, your children, okay? You're also meant here. You're going to be healing lots of families with whatever service you do as well. Some of you guys are being called to adopt a child. Maybe you were an orphan. You're being called to adopt a child, some of you guys, or just to heal your children. Your life purpose is also to be a great mother, a great father, or just to work with children and heal those that have wounds that have been molested, raped, or in any way like that. And you will be showered with abundance because, like I said, you're you're abundant already. Just call back your power. You're abundant already. You don't lack anything. You just have to believe it so it starts coming in, right? Some of you guys are meant to be entrepreneurs. Have your own business. Work for yourself. Be your own boss. But you need to reevaluate your relationships at this time. Which ones are toxic and which ones are for you, okay? Because there are some snakes in the grass. You're also being asked to think outside the box and stand in your power. This is all I have for you guys, okay, for tonight. I hope this reading brought love, light, clarity, confirmations, all the above. Activation, fuck yeah, okay? I'm definitely activating people here. Okay, I'm closing out this reading. I'm closing out this energy here now. I send all this energy back to the light. Sorry. Thank you, everyone who joined today, who donated. All right. I'm definitely going to be saving up for that camera. Trust me. I need a better setup. I need to get a nice chair. All within time. Again, we're all abundant. As long as we're doing God's work, the universe is worth doing our life purpose, whatever it is, our healing work. Okay. We will be rewarded. So, all right. Thank you, everybody who donated to my beautiful book here. I wrote your names down. I will be praying for you tonight. Stay hydrated. Eat clean. I'm hearing alcohol is not really helping you right now, guys. So, <clears throat> love you too, guys. Love you, everybody. I'm reading your comments. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't forget to pray for me too. You know, you could pray for me. Send me love. Send me light. Keep me in your prayers as well because there are a lot of haters here. I'm not going to lie on YouTube. So, you know, we always need to protect our energy. Though I know I'm highly protected. I'm never scared. I'm never scared. You understand? So, to anyone who does want to keep me in their prayer though, send me love. Send me light. I'll never say no to that. And any evil eye, any hate that's sent to me, my ancestors, universe, they're going to deal with you because I'm highly ranked. And a lot of you could tell. I'm highly ranked too, baby. You can't fuck with my energy. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. So, yeah. Wow. Guys, thank you all for your donations. Wow. We have Kaz Kaz. Thank you for your donation, Kaz Kaz. Sending you love and light, okay? Got your name down too. <laughs> Bob Ross. Today's Bob Ross anniversary? Wow. That's crazy. Cast, cast. Literally don't know why I'm hearing background, but. All right, guys. Um, make sure that you replay this video if you didn't get the message from the beginning. Um, thank you to the 229 that are still here. I hope that this brought you love, light, clarity, activation, all the above, really. I know I said that, but I'll say it again. Thank you, everyone who donated. If you watch this later on while I'm not on live. Um, please donate through my PayPal or Cash App, okay, if you can, if you feel called to. Those are the two links. It's going to be down below. 
And um, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow's reading. So always make sure that you join me. I try to do daily lives, okay? So try to join me tomorrow. I am very, very busy doing personals too. So I'm trying to balance my energy to those who book the personal reading, okay? Um, what else? Yeah, I'm getting like, you need to work with crystals too, okay? Make sure you get your crystals. And... When is this walk? <laughs> what walk? Yeah, go outside outdoors. Go walk outdoors to the park. If some of you could walk barefoot outside, go do it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I was going to pull some cards, but I don't really think I have time for that today. So tomorrow, come through. I'm going to do... Um, Twenty dollars, one card pull. Well, more than one card. You know, I, you know, you guys. I always pull more than one card, but I'll be getting on live to do more live readings with you guys. Okay, so have a great night. I love you all. Um, sweet dreams or good morning to whoever's watching this. All right. Many blessings to you guys. Bye bye. Wait, let me see if anybody else has sent anything. Okay. Who keeps talking about that walk? I don't know what you're talking about, guys, but yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Super Solar. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Guys, you always do this to me. I'm out. Bye. Peace.